Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So about three years ago, I did uh, some videos on some panels as well as the Dokio panel. And I wanted to do a three year follow up on the, specifically the Dokio panel. Uh, there's been a lot of interest in it and I wanna show you how it's been holding up. Out here, this is my portable RV solar setup. Uh, I run it about uh, 75 to 100 feet away from the RV into the sun so that I can get some better power output. The trailer's in the shade, so obviously it's not going to do very good over there, but that way we can run it out here into the sun and get a little bit of better output. So uh, right here I have three Renergy panels set up, and then I also have the Dokio panel set up. Uh, the Dokio is a 200 watt panel, and that's what the video is about. It's not about the Renergy panels. So uh, let's take a closer look. So the panels haven't seen a ton of use. They're, they're only being used about a week a year and uh, on other camping trips in between that, but definitely for a week a year. There's been some fading on the red here. The parts that are exposed to the sun, the red on the side is still holding up just fine. The red on these sides, are fading. Uh, this is a 200 watt panel, so each one of these panels is 50 watts. I did wire this up in a way that I can run it over to the trailer. It has wires that are coming out the back. So what I did for the Dokio panel is I just uh, use this piece of plywood to kind of give it a little bit more support. It's not as big as the panel is, and then just lean it up against this log. This, I find that this is the best way for me to set it up. And then I angle it kind of uh, towards the southwest-ish. So this panel gets more of the afternoon sun. Then I have two Renogy panels that kind of face towards the south, and then one that's facing more towards the east. So I kind of have panels charging the batteries throughout the day. I run the wire over to some connectors here, and then they go into a 10 gauge extension cord and run over to the trailer. And that's how we have it set up. Here's the two Renergy panels, and then there's the third Renergy panel. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to unplug the Renergy panels and just have the Dokio panels. We're gonna go into the trailer and see what the output is on the meter. So I turned on a bunch of lights and I have my inverter on so that we can see, so we can put a load on the system to see how much output we have. So we can see that the panel is putting out 14.2 volts. Okay, so I apologize, I'm having a hard time getting it to focus on the actual screen and then the light shuts off. We can see that we have 14.2 volts and 5.4 amps coming in. And then the charge controller converts it to 13.2 volts at 5.6 amps. Looks like we just dropped just a little bit, 4.1 amps, because it's an MPPT charge controller. Instead of shedding that extra voltage, it increased the amps. Yeah, that's why the uh, amps dropped a little bit, or the input dropped is because the sun went behind some clouds. But as you can see, we have the panels set up. They're starting to get shaded by this tree just a little bit. So as you can see, uh, we had 14 volts and 5.5 amps, which isn't horrible. However, it's not the rated output that these are rated for. Um, if you do the math, then that's only about 77 watts, which isn't even 50% of the 200 that they're rated for. However, uh, because of their small, lightweight, and being extremely portable, I do like them. I do recommend them. I just really like how flat and portable they are. I can fold them up, I can stick them underneath the bed in the trailer, and they're easy to carry around. And with these ones, I just lean them up against this log here. Um, you could put them on your windshield or something like that in order to um, charge your car battery or other accessories so they, they can be sitting at an angle that would work well too. 
Um, I don't use these alone. I use the other energy panels in combination with it. And using this setup, I haven't even had to run the generator at all. It keeps two batteries topped off um, during when I have all uh, four of the panels turned on and plugged in. Uh, we're, I've seen uh, 11 amps coming in at uh, 14 volts. So, so they are holding up. Uh, it's been three years that I've had them. Uh, they're holding up just fine. If this saw a lot more sun, this might start deteriorating. But other than fading, it's not actually deteriorating. So that's a good thing. So if you're interested, uh, links will be in the description. Um, as well as previous videos, I'll link those as well. Uh, my initial impressions and the testing. But this is more of a long-term review, so yeah. Uh, I guess that does it for the three-year follow-up on the Dokio solar panels. They, have, they come in all sorts of different sizes, so check them out. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one. See ya.